Heart failure affects a tremendous number of people. There's a tremendous number of, of different uh, inciting etiologies for heart failure and an equally uh, large number of emerging treatments for heart failure. So being cared for uh, in, a, uh, in a system where people are not just aware of, of what's going on and what's coming down the pike, but actively determining that through clinical trials and, and multi-center collaborations is really key. Having said that, there still is a patient population with what we call end-stage heart failure, class four heart failure, stage D heart failure, basically means you know medications have 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 been exhausted and and um, and we uh, begin to think about other you know definitive corrective treatment problems for heart failure that's where heart transplantation and mechanical circulatory support you know come into play the main cause of the uh, the heart failure is uh, the uh, coronary artery disease the other causes are um, uh, irregular heartbeat alcohol abuse um, and some of them, uh, we don't have uh, definitive uh, uh, theology. We don't know the cause of uh, heart failure. Most of the people who have uh, congestive heart failure is uh, the people who are uh, older. Uh, some young people may get uh, congestive heart failure because of a, uh, congen congenital heart disease, uh, but most of them are older people. Heart failure symptoms start from the uh, shortness of breath. Your doctor, uh, mainly a cardiologist, will do some testing like, like an echocardiogram and heart catheterization uh, to look at how healthy your heart is. Heart failure starts from a mild symptoms and then as it progresses, it gets to severe range and to the point where you can't even walk. You can um, potentially prolong the, uh, the delay the need of a heart transplantation or Im implantation of the mechanical circuit support by uh, regular exercise uh, and control your blood pressure uh, in an appropriate range. Certainly, we don't want uh, your blood pressure to be too high. It's going to uh, cause backup of your blood to your lungs and heart and lungs and uh, worsen your shortness of breath. 